everyone. My name is Sumer Sani, and I'm going to present my student experience with the UTD PhD program. Um, I'm going to do this in a style of q and I'm going to share my professional research experiences as well as personal experiences because a PhD program is about a two, three or four year program. So you have to factor in the professional side as well as your personal life. A bit of background about me. Where am I from? I was born in Dubai, UAE. My family moved from there to Kenya, to Ghana, to the Seychelles. I finally went to Pune, India. I'm Indian. So I went to Pune in India where I finished my high school and then did my Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. I also did my first internship over there and then I came to UTD to pursue my Master's in Mechanical Engineering. The opportunity to do a PhD presented itself and I liked the program over here. I liked the quality and pace of life in Dallas. So I decided to do a PhD in Mechanical Engineering at UTD as well. So why mechanical engineering? Many of you may probably get this question from your peers, from your family members. My answer to this is because growing up, I was very creative, very crafty. I was very good at physics and math. So mechanical engineering seemed like a good choice moving forward. During my bachelor's, I was involved in the Baja group of our university, which basically means we would build this off-road buggy, which is rigorously tested in competitions both nationally as well as internationally. Now, doing mechanical engineering, you will come across subjects or topics in subjects where they talk about design for manufacturability, design for assembly, design for serviceability. Because I was part of this group, I wasn't just reading about these subjects, but I also had the opportunity to experience practicing these subjects. And the experiences, I feel, are what led or at least helped me secure my admission at UT Dallas. So that leads me to the next question. What do I like about the ME department at UT Dallas? Now, there are two ways of answering this. One is in the capacity of just a graduate student. The other one is in the capacity of a PhD research candidate. So as a graduate student, what I like about UTD is that, or what I like about the ME department at UTD more specifically, is that they offer so many courses every semester but more importantly, they try to introduce a new subject or a new topic or a new course every semester under the special topics branch. As a research student, what I like about UTD is that I've recognized and I really appreciate how the ME department is trying to bring in new faculty members with a diverse research background. So what that means for new students is that there are more opportunities to participate in research. What it means for existing students is that there are new opportunities to collaborate between faculty members and their students, as well as write joint proposals and create more publications, which will help you in the long run. How did I meet my faculty advisor? My faculty advisor is Dr. Arif Malik. Now, this is a bit of a long story, but I joined in 2015 fall. He started teaching at UT Dallas in the fall of 2015 as well. The first course he was teaching at UTD was Computer Aided Design or CAD as we called it. Coming from India, I was very proficient at CAD. So that's one of the first courses I decided to take. The first week I was here, I didn't have any internet. I didn't have a car. I didn't know anyone, didn't know where to go, didn't have anything to do. And Dr. Malik was getting used to the e-learning system. So he uploaded all of the homework for the entire semester. I decided to start solving the homework because I just had nothing to do. And then the very next week, he asked us if any of us had any problems with the homework. Now, he obviously meant accessing it. I didn't understand. I thought he meant literally with the homework. So I stuck my hand up and I started listing a number of errors I found in all the assignments. And there must have been 40 to 50 different assignments. So it was a super nerdy moment. It was kind of awkward. There was an awkward silence, but I think it paid off because a week later, Dr. Malik called me to his office and expressed that he had a vacancy in his research group and offered me a research assistantship position. The position would come with a tuition waiver, with stipend, with health insurance benefits like dental and vision. It was a great offer. Coming from India, you can understand how expensive an education in America is. So I took the offer and I think it's one of the best decisions I ever made in my 20s. Now, coming down to our research group, our research group is called the Center for Computational Research and Advanced Manufacturing. 
There are a lot of different individual research topics in this group. Mine specifically is related to metal additive manufacturing. I build simulations for metal additive manufacturing and post-process simulations on the additive manufactured billets. These simulations include residual stress distortion, measurement prediction, as well as grain structure prediction. On the bottom of your screen, you see my research group. And on the bottom right, you see a picture of Dr. Malik and I. As a happy coincidence, we both cycle in the same cycling group. It's a long story, but this picture was taken at the MS-150. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what the MS-150 is, MS stands for multiple sclerosis. And this is a charity ride that is done across America. There are multiple rides. We do the one between Frisco and Fort Worth over here. It's 150 miles over two days, and the proceeds go towards research funding to combat the effects of multiple sclerosis. So the next question is, what am I passionate about? And this is where I'm going to go from the professional side to the more personal side. One thing I really like is trying out different food, trying out new restaurants. I'm not talking about big chains, but small mom and pop shops. The reason I'm showing this slide is not because I love food so much, but it's to express to people who are not from Dallas, uh, also not from America, that Dallas can be very, very culturally diverse. And if you can step out of your comfort zone, you can get a chance to experience the cultural diversity in this place. What I like to do also is take my friends to different restaurants they've never been to and help them get this food experience, so to speak. So that's something that I'm passionate about. Another thing that I like doing is cycling. So when I joined UT Dallas, I needed some sort of a physical outlet and I like cycling. So I tried to join the UTD cycling club. They took me in, I would train with them. We did rides all over Texas. It's great because in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, there are lots of cycling routes. You'll see lots of groups cycling on the road on weekends. It's a great way to explore the place and get to meet new people. Now let's talk about achievements that I'm proud about. I can talk about quite a few different achievements, but I would say if I had to zero down on one, it would be our annual Engineering Brighter Futures for Autism event. This is an endeavor taken up by Dr. Arif Malik, as well as his colleagues at the Autism Treatment Center, Dr. Caroline Gava and Dr. John Eichler. So these are four pictures from the four different events we've had between 2016 and 2019. Unfortunately, we had to call off the one for 2020 because of the pandemic. But hopefully in the year 2021 or 2022, we'll have this event again. Graduate students are welcome to volunteer. Let me talk a little bit about this event. So in this event, we design an engineering level task that we get non-neurotypical students or students on the autism spectrum to carry out and execute. The event is typically held at the Microsoft Store at North Park Mall. It's a very enriching and rewarding experience to see how we can help these students demonstrate their creative and immense capabilities. It's very important to showcase this to the local community. And if I have any advice to future grad students or students who are going to join UTD, I would say there are three things I would advise. One is to speak to faculty and to try and get involved in research. This can help make your academic experience far more enriching. The second piece of advice would be to get involved in events and clubs on campus. Whilst this may not be academically enriching, what it does is it helps you mingle, join different friend circles, and most importantly, network. The third thing, which is something which I feel should not go understated, is to find a good work-life balance. Now, in my case, I like cycling. That's my outlet. In your case, it might be something else. But don't let this point slip. It's very important for your mental well-being. And if you don't have that mental well-being, it will reflect in the quality of your work. With that said, you can learn more about my research in additive manufacturing as well as my group's research with the two links on the screen, the one in the middle as well as the one in the bottom right.